Hello and welcome to the video. This is an overview and review of this model here. This is the HGLRC Wind 5 Racing Quad. Uh, I'll put a link down below. This is one that I've been playing around with the last week or two and been having an awful lot of fun with. Now this one has the uh, DJI Air Unit light in here and the Cadex camera at the front. So I've been flying it with my DJI equipment, but I think there are other versions available uh, that have analog stuff in as well. And don't worry, it's not just all gonna be about DJI stuff on my channel. It just happens to be that that is the stuff that's been coming in recently. But most of the stuff that I have been flying with DJI has been the kind of Explorer class of quads. So things that fly for 10, 15, 20 minutes, half an hour in one case, uh, with a DJI system on it, usually with a GPS, so you can see which way uh, is back to home. It gives you things like beta flight, uh, GPS recovery mode, and this is not that at all. This is about flying incredibly fast for short periods of time, and basically flying like you stole it. So if you're interested in a quad that comes ready to fly with everything on here and actually does fly uh, incredibly well actually straight out of the box then stay with me. So while I unbox this thing let me go through the specs so again this is the Wind 5 Light Truex racing frame uh, this is a 5 inch model it is a Truex as well uh, from HGLRC uh, it has a wheelbase of 208 millimeters and support for propellers up to 5.2 inches the overall size of the thing is about 148 millimeters all the way around Weight, excluding the TPU bits, is about 75 grams, so it isn't particularly heavy. Lovely to see the fact that HGLRC do have the ability in America to get these things repaired. And it's nice to see manufacturers who are building these things out in China put a little bit of effort to make sure that if something nasty does happen, that you're not having to try and ship it back to China or just cross your fingers and hope for some good luck. And I like that from HGLRC. It shows that they're actually making an effort to support the pilot. Inside here is a Zeus F722 mini flight controller. I'll show you that a little bit closer up in a minute. Two sets of props in here. All the prop, spare prop nuts and pieces you're going to need. And then the little uh, 3D printed part that goes at the top, which seems to be the uh, de rigueur at the moment. If you're going to have some kind of racing quad, it has to look like a shark. 45 amp BL32, 3 to 6S capable uh, ESCs, it's a 4-in-1 unit at the bottom. Uh, the lead that's coming out the top isn't needed, you can actually wire up uh, the uh, the radio control through the DJI system, it, uh, but the, nice to have the cable there because it allows you to plug in another receiver if that's what you're interested in. Very aggressive camera angle out of the box, and then you have these other pieces at the back with the single antenna for the air uh, unit light. Big cap at the back as well to make sure there's lots and lots of smoothing and bracing as well for the frame. Now this is a Cadix Vista Nebula Nano V2 in here. Uh, the motors, depending on which one you have, they're either 2207.5 1750kV units for 6S or the ones I have here are the 2207.5 2550kV which is the 4S version. Uh, then you have an extra bag of bits in that has all the extra pieces, including stuff like the battery strap. Recommended battery for this is either going to be a 4S 1300 milliamp hour to 1600 milliamp hour or a 6S 13 to 1600 milliamp hour. I've been flying mine on a 4S 1300 and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Not a huge long flight time because this is built for out and out flight like you stole it kind of flying. I won't go through all the beta flight stuff, but what I will do, I'll put a link to the dump down below. Uh, everything is pretty standard in here with only one little exception, and that is that the props are reversed. So be aware of that when you're fitting your props. Make sure that you don't actually get them the wrong way around. But the tune, the setup and everything is really nice. Again, I'll put a link down below if you want to go and have a look at how everything is set up out of the box. I had to spend a little bit of time uh, setting up the OSD to be how I want it and also playing with the modes as well so that it worked with the DJI Air unit. In terms of flying, it is an incredibly fun experience. It's hovering 
well under a quarter throttle, even with the 4S version in here. Sadly, unless the camera is on the maximum tilt angle, uh, then you are going to get a little bit of prop in the image like I have here. So I'm just flying around, just having an absolute whale of a time. It's very, very fast, very responsive, and gets in and out of problems uh, very, very easily. The roll rates, uh, the way the rates are set up in beta flight, everything is actually really nice out of the box. If you're a pilot that knows what you're doing with something like race quads, then you're probably gonna tweak the rates and make it so it feels like it's gonna be perfect for you. But as somebody who doesn't do a lot of racing myself, I like fast quads, uh, this felt very, very comfortable straight out of the box. So in summary, what do I think? There's a lot to like about this model. HGLRC have put a lot of time and effort into making sure that this thing flies and behaves absolutely beautifully. The construction is top notch. This is the way that I would have built it if I was building it. Uh, so I'm not sure I could probably give a model like this any more praise than that because I can be a little bit finicky about how everything goes together. The wires are just the right length, the soldering is beautiful, the way the flight controller is installed on here, it's on vibration isolating mounts, and it's connected to everything with just cables. So if you did need to replace the flight controller, it's just two things that you have to just snap into the sides, and then you've got a replacement. All the elements on here are really nice. The frame, the way it's finished, the 401 ESC, that flight controller, the way that the VTX is mounted and everything is out of the back is just really nicely thought through. And it's lovely to see models like this from a vendor that isn't just doing a me too thing. It's nice that all of those people who jumped on the quadcopter bandwagon a year or two ago have kind of disappeared now, leaving people like HGLRC to make some really nice stuff. There are huge amounts of power on this. Again, hovering at about 25% throttle on the 4S, I'm sure the 6S is even more insane than that. And there are lots of options for the different kind of motors that you want. So have a look on the website. I'll put a link down below. You don't have to just get the one that I've got for 4S. Even if you go for something like 6S, there's different options there too. Only a couple of things to be aware of, really. First of all is the props are reversed. So... Uh, if you are a quad pilot of old like me, it really messes with your head because usually the only things that have reverse props tend to be kind of whoop style stuff. So having a five inch racer with reverse props is uh, is kind of interesting. But once you, you kind of get your head around that, it's easy to get it all set up. The camera angle is very extreme and is really built for going absolutely top speed everywhere now i actually uh, cut out the middle piece on mine to give me a little bit more room uh, to fly it in different conditions and that was easy to do you just with a sharp pair of scissors you can just snap through it this is the tpu style 3d printed piece the air unit wasn't activated on a lot of the quads i've had recently uh, it has been so you could just use it straight out of the box this one wasn't so i had to activate it here the camera isn't my favorite part of this. Uh, it's the only part that hasn't really blown me away. This particular camera, I think, doesn't do the best job. There's other cameras that you could connect to the air side unit that I think just give a nicer picture. Admittedly, the footage that we've just been looking at is from a very overcast day, but I just find that the, the images from this particular camera are a bit meh. Don't forget that the RX wire that stuck out the top as I unboxed it uh, isn't actually needed if you're going to use something like a DJI FPV controller, but it's there if you want to put something like a Free Sky or a Crossfire or whatever on there. There are the guides uh, 3D printed here for, to put your antennas out the top if that's what you really want to do. And the only other big thing you have to be aware of is with a 1300 pack. This one is the uh, Race Day Quads 1300 4S. I'm only getting two and a half minutes if I fly it in a lively fashion. <clears throat> I can get a little bit more. I get about an extra 15 seconds if I'm a, a little bit more uh, cautious on the sticks. But this is really designed to be flown like you stole it. And if you do, then two and a half minutes is about all you're going to get. But that is uh, a testament to kind of how powerful this setup is. And it's a really nice way to try a very very quick model with the DJI system on it if you're not interested in doing all the building or all the setting up. So if that's you 
then this should definitely be on the list that you look at if you're considering buying a 5 inch racing quad that wants to be flown like you stole it. Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the inner circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to or for Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject, starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.